just rolled in, guys. Uh, stop number, golly, what are we on? Stop number, number five, I guess. The Big Indian, Lake Cherokee. Get a look at where we're staying. Not too shabby, not too bad, not too bad. Look, we got a little romantic fireplace. So we have nice talks after a day of fishing. Talk about how awesome we're catching them, hopefully. Not a bad little spot, not a bad little spot. But check this out. I know y'all are gonna love this. Tell me how much y'all love my room. I mean, look at this. If that ain't sweet bedding, I don't know what it is. They even hooked me up with some flowers. I mean, this is me, right? All day. There she is. Big Indian Lake, Cherokee. I know y'all can't see it, but right there. There, that's where we're gonna catch them. Rock transitions, clay, pea gravel. What is that out there? Got a hump out there. Marinas. Oh, it's gonna be good stuff. It's good stuff, I'm excited. I'm excited. We are in 48th place right now. We need a top 10. This event, without a doubt, need a top 10. If nothing else, need a top 30. Need to move up in the points. We're still eyeballing the Forestwood Cup. That's the primary thing. Golly, I want to win one of these things. So, get practice started in the morning. I got to get a little bit of work done. And then I uh, probably cook dinner for the guys. Going to eat some. What we got here? Oh, yeah. Taco Bell original refried beans. Old El Paso tacos. Fire those bad boys up. Of course. Got to have the Uncle Ben's ready rice. So, I'll uh, cook dinner for the guys here in a little bit. Get off of dinner duty early. I don't like being on dinner duty during the week while we're trying to practice. I don't want to come home and have to cook dinner. I'll wash dishes. I don't want to cook dinner during the week. So I'll cook the guys' tacos tonight. Once everybody gets here, waiting on Dylan, Evan, and Tyler. And then in the morning, we got to get it. It all starts, kicks off in the morning. It all starts off in the morning. Stop number five, FLW Tour, Lake Cherokee. And I'm going to say at the beginning of this one, Go down there, subscribe, like the video right here at the beginning. Go ahead, get it over with, and let's have some fun. Let's catch them. What up, guys? What's fixing up? to get uh, day one. Practice kicked off out here. Just hit, got done with fishing church. And it looks like 90% of the field's launching down here. No, it's, it's really not that bad, but check this out. Tell me that ain't some awesome parking. Just roll up right on the beach, dump your boat, pull up. Pretty sweet. So we're fixing to get practice started. I know everybody's, uh, you can feel it, kind of feel the excitement in there. Everybody's ready to actually go catch some fish after Grand Lake because it was so terrible. I have a feeling there's not going to be a whole lot of fish get shook off this week. Let's see if we can keep what Blake's tying on over here. Everything. Blake Smith is a known banjo lake. minnow. He's a known Lake Cherokee hammer. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I stick them all. What is Every that? one of them. What is that? What's up? Swim the winning bait right oh there. Oh my god, them little bitty rod and rails. What are these? Underhanded, left handed things. <laughs> what do you I, even do with this thing? I usually hit myself in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to use one one time. Oh, Dickie, gosh. how many you got on the deck over there? Yeah, right. Uh -huh. He ain't got nothing. <laughs> ain't nothing for me. <laughs> First time I used them, I had the reel on top, and they said that's not the way it goes. You're oh. supposed to hang it up. <laughs> you know what's bad is every tournament that I end up having to keep a spin rod in my hand, I've gotten paid. Really? That's what's scary. Oh. You ever wonder? I told somebody one time, I was like, if you just, if a man, this is like a co angler, I said, yeah. if a man took a one gallon Ziploc of like four inch Senkos, shaky heads, drop shots, Carolina rig, and just oh. went fishing all oh, over he, the country, he'd do great. you'd win all the time. All right, so here's one for you. So I was talking to Jay Yellis one time, and he said, he said, the worst thing as a pro angler, when we had co-anglers, the worst thing that you could ever see is a co-angler show up with two rods and a Cinco tied on both of them. Yeah. You can't beat a Yamamoto Nobby. Cinco. So, yeah, Nobby. Oh, he whooped my tail out the back of the There's nothing worse than that. constantly, you hear it. That, that, that gum shaky head, man. Yeah. I had him show up and then just whoop my butt. Yeah. Oh. Hey, morning, yeah. morning. All right, guys, we're fixing to get kicked off. Few more minutes yeah, before we can uh, before we can actually take off, go out. I know we're all pumped, fixing to go catch some small jaws. It's gonna be a ball. Let's get it. All right, guys, we're starting out. Just gonna start start out chunking a swim bait until we see uh, 
what kind of what the water temp is and all that good stuff start out with just a 3-3 Kitec see what we can't come up with got one first cast guys first cast oh come off <laughs> first cast that's probably bad luck <laughs> Cat serious? Freaking catfish. What? I'm on a roll this year, guys, catching. Alright, so it stopped raining. I caught a small spot on a swim bait and then I just caught about a five pound carp. I think that is the second, honestly, the second carp I've ever caught. Like that ate it. All right, that is, uh, we're loaded up, that's it. That's day one is finished. Sorry, it seems like, I know y'all are probably tired of me apologizing all the time for video or lack of video, but it always, uh, it always seems like it's raining or, you know, something's going on. But anyways, um, I did get a few fish catch on there for you. Um... I, I'm not like mad about how the day went. I actually, you know, think it went think it went decent for a first day on a lake that I've never been to before. I really won't complain about it. I think I ended up having, I don't know, maybe 10, 12, 10 bites, let's say. Um, some of them were two, two and a half pounders. So, you know, I really, really want to feel like I'm gonna catch that 13 to 13 and a half pounds really to win it i think it's gonna be like 15 15 to eight but I, I really need to be catching about 13 13 and a half pounds um but for the first day i'm happy with it just because I, I figured out what they're on and kind of a way to go catch a few so tomorrow what we'll do is i'll I will start running more of the same stuff and maybe trying to find some fish that are staging um more or less because generally those staging fish might be a little bit bigger and it'll probably get you know ignored a little bit more than what i'm doing so we'll see i'm happy with it these long days are nice you know when it comes to practice because you just get so much time on the water i mean it's 13 hours is what we we're allowed to fish today so fix a head home as always get some kibble feed up go to bed get ready for day two see if we can't build on what we did today later good morning good morning guys day two it's been a little bit of a cluster getting launched this morning we have a launch ramp right here by the house we're like that'll be awesome that'll be perfect nice and easy and it wasn't and guess what guess what that's right foggy we have not had a single practice this year i mean y'all seen it y'all rode along with me we have not had oh one jumped we have not had a single practice this year without some fog and y'all know how much i freaking hate fog so i said yesterday got on something got a few little bites i won't really say on something but today we got to figure out a plan we have to put together a plan to figure out how we're going to separate ourselves from the rest of the pack because there's going to be a ton of like i'm going to say 11 11 to 12 pound bags caught so we got to figure out a plan how we're going to do that so we're uh, mid late today maybe I feel like we need to figure out a way to go catch a big, like a big largemouth. So we're just waiting on Evan Barnes, like always. Dude, Here he comes. I just wrecked my freaking tires on that bridge right there. I'm talking both of them bad. What? My rims, I just curved them, dude. All, like the whole thing on that bridge. Right, right now? Not right now. Oh. I missed this. So this bridge, we'll do a video. This bridge right there. It's, it's narrow bridge. It's the seen. worst. 
I think with tow mirrors, I'd probably have to. Well, uh, I hit it like I, I missed the turn, obviously, so I had to turn around. But on the way back, there was a electrical truck, one of those big yeah. electrical trucks that was yeah. super wide. So we both literally come to the stop like right there, and I guess, <laughs> yeah, dude, both of my rims smoked. So if there's anyone out there that owns a uh, wheel company, yes. Evan Barnes needs a sponsorship. I need a, I, need a, I need a title sponsor for sure, a wheel company. Golly, it's bad. So if anybody has uh, the hookup on wheels, get with Evan Barnes. All right, guys, we're fixing to get it. Fixing to head out, uh, go catch us some fish. Bang around in the fog. Later. number two. Seems like I should be able to just take this 2.8 and just go down the bank. Woo! We got a heck of a storm coming and uh, I forgot my boots in the truck. So I think actually I'm fixing to pull the boat out. Go see if I can get this trolling motor fixed. Go ahead and fill some stuff up because we have like some sure enough storms coming um, and then get back out here here in just a little bit. What up, what up guys? Um, I didn't wrap up yesterday because, why didn't I wrap up yesterday? I don't know, maybe I just got lazy. But it was, uh, you know, like I said, I was just kind of messing around yesterday, kind of jumping all over the place, trying to, trying to <clears throat> figure out something different than what we learned on the first day. And I ended up running way, went way up the river, <coughs> trying to possibly find some large mouth because there's guys catching good large mouth. So I ran way up the river trying to do that. That didn't work out, I caught one short fish. I feel like this place to me, honestly, is setting up a lot, I mean a lot, like Beaver Lake. I think there's more bites probably up the river but i didn't see the quality up there you can go up there and catch largemouth um i don't think it'll last to be honest maybe i, I might be wrong i might be in 150th after the first day but i don't i don't think that'll last and um I don't know, so I, I'm not gonna do that. We're launching the same place today. Um, I gave that the, the pattern that I was doing the first day that I feel like, you know, kind of got on. And I don't feel like it's like a winning pattern. I don't wanna come off like, like that. I think maybe you can catch like 12 to 13 pounds doing it. Something like that. 12, yeah, 12 to, 12 to 13 pounds. Um, so what I'm going to try to do today, I mentioned it yesterday, but there's these ditches. So I thought my, thought my lens was fogged up. Can't be having bad quality stuff here. Well, I thought my, I thought, uh, I think maybe we can run some of these ditches or drains when I get to idling around. I will, uh, I'll try to show y'all exactly what I'm talking about, but there's a ton of bait in them and there's bass streaking around on the, on the Laurent unit. And I feel like there's fish to be caught there. But I ain't caught them jokers yet. So, this morning and the majority of the day is going to be spent on... Is going to be spent on trying to catch some of them. Figure them out. Because I need to figure out how to catch a four a three to five three to five pound fish evan yesterday he caught a few at, <clears throat> down the lake and actually weighed them and he had most of them were about two and three quarter pounds 
Um, I mean, obviously you catch some short fish and different things like that. But most of them, most of them are about two and three quarter pounds, something like that, which is, you know, going to give you that mid 12, which is probably kind of what everybody's going to have. So we'll get rigged up here, pull out a few things and we're going to go run some ditches to see if we can't make that work. Now, as soon as I get going, I'll show you all kind of what I'm talking about. But so, I was just talking about, uh, about ditches and stuff. Let me find some here. That's what I'm talking about. So this is actually where I'm going to start the morning. And I talked a little bit about this, I think, at uh, Sam Raver. Same deal. But what happens is you have a, you have a creek coming off the main lake and see a defined ditch or drain coming in there and so see this spot right that spot right there how there's kind of like a last it's like tight 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 rings and then you get right there and it's like a flat <clears throat> flat spot well for whatever reason fish and bait like to hold right there it's kind of the last deep spot before they make their push back and so that's kind of what we're going to target on that's what we're going to that's what I'm going to try to do is fine because you get in there and there's like bait everywhere and the bass are streaking around eating them. I, I think some of the problem is the, the shad, there's actually kind of like a shad kill going on right now. Um, so I'm kind of battling that. It's really hard to imitate and the shad are really small. Like the swim bit I'm catching on is a 2.8, 2.8 inches. That's a little bitty. Uh, so it's, it's hard to replicate that when there's so much free bait for them to eat. But that's what we're gonna do. I feel like there's some big fish out there to be caught. So I'm gonna run that for a pretty good while today and see what we can come up with later. Y'all didn't see that, but I just had like another like three and a half, four pounder jump over a spook. I think uh, finally figure out like what they want, or at least what they want today. I'm just and then just stop it. And I guess what's happening is they're following it, they're tracking it, and when it stops, they're about to run into it, so I just eat it. So now I think, like, because I don't really want to catch one, it's definitely a pattern. So we have two patterns going on down here. Um, I'm gonna go fish some marinas. It's all you always want to have some backup plans. So I'm about to go fish some marinas, and then I'm gonna go run some bridges. Another backup plan. Then I'm gonna run halfway up the river and go do the same thing, but up there because there's smallmouth up there too. And just see if I can do it up there. So we'll see. I'm excited right now though. So like I mentioned, I uh, you know kind of towards the end of day three, I was wanting just to kind of poke around, maybe look at some off the wall stuff. It seems like. A lot of these clear, you know, smallmouth, spotted bass, fisheries, um, like bridges and stuff, weird stuff like that. There's always like a guy that catches them on it. And a lot of times I just never go look at it. And so since I felt like I was kind of on something, I decided to go ahead and go look at it just to rule it out, make sure I wasn't missing anything super important. So that was my, my three days of practice. Um, I can't really complain with it, but it's, I mean, Pretty much, you know, everybody comes in, everybody's talking, everybody, and it, like the crazy thing is, Instagram is the worst. What's up, Evan Barnes? What's up? So like, you get on Instagram, Facebook, and like everybody, it looks like you get to feeling like everyone's smashing them because you, everyone it seems like every time you turn around, there's a four pounder, five pounder. Um, but overall, I would say the fish are probably biting better than than any lake we've been to, don't you think? As far as just like fish biting. I mean, it seems like just, yeah, I'd say overall the fish are just biting better um, than any other, any other lake we've been to. So I'm excited. It's going to be nice. We have nice weather for the most part. I think Friday maybe it's supposed to rain, but it's not going to be cold. I think we're finally getting out of that part of the season, which I'm pumped about. Weight predictions are all over the map as far as, you know, everybody's always interested. First of all, what's it going to take to get paid? I've heard anywhere from 12 pounds to 14 pounds. So that means some guys are catching them okay and some guys are catching them really well. 
and then uh, check cut or uh, top 30 cut I've heard uh, what I say I've heard anywhere from 13 to 15 so but historically 12 and a half pounds you know it might be a little bit better than that but historically it's like 12 and a half pounds get paid and then probably 13 and a half high you know low 14 somewhere in there what do you think yeah, it's pretty accurate. I think that just judging by my practice that I'm gonna say I'm still gonna say upper 12s like you catch that 12 12 to 12 13 you know something like that you'll probably get paid um, it's just almost always it's usually 12 4 to you know 12 and a half 12 8 something like that so I'm, I'm just gonna say it's a little bit better than than what we've said just for the fact that I feel like they are spawning the ones that are gonna buy it they've gotten picked off you know we've we've all just burned down the banks we've, we've picked off a bunch of fish that were already up there so I feel like the fishing pressure alone will probably make it a little bit tougher than uh, than what guys have uh, have experienced you know day to day but I mean I, I'm gonna give it a little bit more that you know 12 12 to 13 pounds is what I'm gonna say to get paid um, for the cut I I think you're gonna be have to be at 14. You know, that's, I think that's probably the magic number. I feel like that, yeah. Yeah, that's probably. I think tomorrow's gonna be good, like yeah. today or Friday, because we have. So we have Friday, like storms and some other stuff coming in. So at a clear water lake like this, especially a smallmouth, it can make well, it can make either one of them just chew. And there are quality fish in here too. There's kind of few far in between, but there's big ones. So somebody could bust a big bag. Evan's doing something. Um, I mean, he has the potential to catch a big bag. Yeah. What exactly are you doing, Evan? <laughs> just rolling a big swim yeah. around, man. Just, you know, just just fishing. I mean, <laughs> just nothing, nothing special. Yeah, it's pretty cool, though. I actually am going to start literally right over there. If you guys can see that, uh, had a had a couple of bites right over there. Uh, Remember? Wait, wait, wait. I need to flash back. When I was doing my little intro video, uh -huh. I said we were going to catch them right there i was a little bit off i was off by 100 yards i'm not gonna catch him but hopefully yeah uh, hopefully he catches a big one yeah i don't i don't know i mean it, it's kind of cool because we're doing like me and cody were doing totally separate things totally different things but we both had bites doing what each other's doing you know and so that's kind of our plan b our backup plan um i think either one of us are probably going to freak out or or know what's going on if we see each other at all during the day that's what's going to be crazy if i see I'm cody just just, just terrible you know just fly past me you know i'm gonna be like oh crap you know yeah. his fish his fish didn't fire or, or if you know i end up flying past him later in the day he's going to know that my fish didn't fire i don't know if, if you see me it could be though it could be good it, 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 it could be good like if he sees me at at 10 it's probably a good thing if he sees me at 10 o'clock, it probably means I'm I'm hunting a, a great big end up there. But honestly, I probably, I don't know. I probably wouldn't do that. I don't want to, like, screw him up. Apparently, what he's doing, there's not, I don't feel like there's an absolute ton of. But it'll, uh, I'm just excited. I'm excited just for good weather Yeah. and fish are biting. I mean, we've talked about it all week. We're just, we're just in a different position. If I needed to go t catch 12 pounds, you know, I would be doing, you know, I'd be chasing smallmouth, you know, just rolling the key tech around, whatever, you know. But... Um, I gotta catch them. I mean, I, I I have nothing to lose whatsoever. I just I need to get paid, yes, but also I just need to smash them, you know. And, and he and still needs a wheel uh, tire sponsor. Yes. Wheel tire sponsor oh my guys. gosh, smoke those smoke <laughs> those rims. Actually, so, is that bridge right? Yeah, that's it right there. That, that bridge, the you infamous see, bridge. That one right there. It is the most narrow bridge I've ever been. And on I noticed line. today I was starting to show Dylan like that's right where it happened because you can see where the paint comes off on the on the bridge. But we noticed there's like 50 places where that's there's it. paint that's come off the side of the bridge. So I don't know which one it was, but it was one of them. It was pretty. It was pretty bad. But I don't know. I mean, this is this is the best practice I've had all year. Uh, best practice I've had in a couple of years probably. So I'm excited about it. I feel like that it's the you know fishing is going to be pretty good. I will probably relate it weight li weight wise to something like we saw at Cumberland last year. You know, I mean it's fair enough. 20 pounds probably be leading, and then you know that 12 to 13 pounds is going to be right there. You know, right there where you need to be as far as, as far as getting paid. So cool. Um, I will see. Cool. All right, guys. And before I go, I need your opinion. We were discussing this the other night in the house. Everybody knows the little bitty swim baits that have been around for several years now. Is it Key Tech or Ki Tech? I call it a Ki Tech. It's Key Tech. Hey, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna prove it to you. Think about the name Reed. R E I D. It's not Ride. And Key Tech is K E I T. Key Tech. 
So yeah, but it's, that's my that's my argument. But they're Japanese. <laughs> Kiatek, it's Kiatek. I I'm gonna meet him in the middle and call him Kiatek. <laughs> Kiatek. Anyways, guys, I appreciate y'all watching this, taking the time out of your day to check it out. Hopefully, we all go smash them tomorrow. All four of us here in the house: me, Evan, Dylan, uh, Dylan Hayes, and Tyler Stewart. Wish us luck. If you like this video, as always, please subscribe, like it, tell your friends, and I'll see you guys later.